this is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy and I have another card tutorial for you. Oh, there goes the ice in my freezer by the time I start recording. <laughs> um, anyway, I am going to be doing a card for you today with the hello from the floral statements. I, I, I really do like this set. It's um, just the two stamps. I have been working a little bit with this one, but I haven't gotten finished with it because I was trying some water coloring. As a matter of fact, I'll show it to you right here. And what I did was I stamped it in uh, basic gray. And then I colored it in, I think I used the Flirty Flamingo and Lemon Lime Twist. And then I put some olive, Old Olive over the top of it. This is the... Pacific Point. Oh, the ice box is going to drive me crazy. But I'm not real pleased with it, so I'm going to um, work with this one a little bit more. But uh, I am pleased with this one. I really do like it. This one's done in the Berry Burst. And uh, let's get started on this. It's really easy. I have the parts for it over here. It's just three parts. It's going to be Whisper White, and it's three and three quarters by five. And this one is four by five and a quarter. And then your base is four and a quarter by eleven. Four and a quarter this way, eleven this way, and it's scored at five and a half in the middle. And the reason I'm doing the long card is because the way this sets, um, a lot of people like to set these up on cabinets, and I personally would rather do it this way and when they're they're long like this you can set them up like this and leave them open if you have one that's like this the other one they have a tendency to start sagging after time so with these I like to do this anyway let's go ahead and get started let me put this off to the side and grab this let's see if I can get this to and I use my misty you don't have to but I like to, this is the way I get it straight most time don't always get it straight but okay we're gonna put this make sure I got the right side right here believe it or not I've already filmed this one thing once and for some reason it came out blurry I don't know if it was my camera or what hopefully this one is doing better I hope this works. We're going to see how good this comes out. Oh, siren's going again. I may be a little high on this one, it looks like. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm paranoid about not getting a good enough. Hold on. Sorry about that. The sirens were getting closer. Okay, let's see if this worked. Oh yeah, I got it pretty good. I see a couple of spots there, but I'm not real worried about that. Uh, okay. I'm going to pull this out because I'm going to be using this to color with. I hope that doesn't bother y'all too much, but here it's still going. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit on my Wink Costello. It doesn't hurt it. It might tint it a little bit, but it's not going to hurt it. And I'm going to start coloring in this flower right here. And you will be picking up a little bit of the color from this. I hope I don't get my head in your way. From just the color itself but I tried that earlier with just the color from it and it with the Wink of Stella it wasn't quite juicy enough so I decided to start getting it out of the lid I'm gonna color this one flower and then I'm gonna go off screen and probably color the rest of it and then I'll come back because I know you don't want to sit and watch me do all this coloring This is really, I really love doing this. It's a kind of, I guess they 
you know, I've heard other people say it's kind of therapeutic. Well, it is. But I don't like to get too much color at one time on there because I don't want it too dark. So I keep going in and getting just a little, a little, a little. So it kind of takes me a while. Other people can do it and not have a problem. I'm a little slow still with the coloring. Oh my goodness. I got to shut that off. I'm going to try to get a little faster on this. If I was, you know, just doing it myself, I don't worry about it. Because I can take my time. And you can too if you want to try this. Like I said, I don't like picking up too much color at once because I want, don't want it too dark. At least I think the sirens have stopped. Okay. There's one. So I'm going to pull this off and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And the only thing I like is just getting these little stems colored in. And since the Wink of Stella has such a... Oops. My hand slipped. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Has such a fine tip, you can get in there and just go across it. And it doesn't hurt it a bit. Unless you slip like I just did. Okay, I'm going to come back over here and get these. It really didn't take me long to color these flowers. Whoops, I'm going to put a little bit more color there. That's that, and now I'm going to get a piece of paper towel, and I'm just going to wipe my Winkosilla pen off, put the cap back on it, and I'll show you. I know uh, this gets glitter down in here, so where you were glittering, just take a paper towel and wipe that out a little bit. It's not going to leave enough glitter to hurt anything once you wipe that. Probably wouldn't hurt anything anyway, but I always wipe it out anyway. Close that up. And we're going to let that dry just a little bit. Because I don't want to make a mess. It doesn't take long for the wink of Stella to dry, so... It should be good enough. And there are some spots that didn't, you know, that are you can barely see it where it doesn't didn't get enough um, ink. Let me get it up here and see if you can see it. Really can't see it that well, but that doesn't bother me. I really like that. So let's go ahead and let me get my fast fuse. Shut my deal without shaking the camera, and I'm gonna try to be real careful, just in case. Looks like it's dry. I don't leave any. I don't see any leavings, markings. I, I didn't think it would take very long to dry. Okay. So we'll put this on our very burst. put it on our Whisper White base. Turn 
turn it over because it wasn't the right direction. There we go. Then I'm going to bring in the glitter enamel shapes or glitter enamel dots. And I'm going to take one of these big ones and I'm going to put that down here. Uh, go to a smaller, a little bit smaller one, put it up here, I guess, and then I'm going to go to a really small one, and it's not as dark. Actually, I think I'm going to go over just a little bit farther to the lighter one, because these are ombre. Um, let's put it, let's put it right there. No. Nope. Where should I put it? Right there? I'm going to put it right there. That's good enough. And that's it. Our card's finished. Let's go ahead and crease that down. And here's the one I just did. And here's the other one. I think I got a little bit more Wink Stella on this one, but if I wanted to, I could come back in and put a little bit more on this. Yeah. It does have a little bit more wing Stella, but either way, that's fine. So, anyway, this is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy, and I hope you like this. Uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, take a look at my blog. I should, I'll should i have the link below for it and my online store for Stampin' Up. So, this is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy. Thank you.